Welcome to the prayer for a good day. This is simply a prayer I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as I pray, and together we will seek our Heavenly Father. Please continue to meditate on this prayer for yourself. Speak it daily or listen to this over and over again, and allow the Word of God to reach deep into your spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus. Where two or more are gathered, there you'll be in the midst of us. And anything we agree upon as touching, you will surely do. The Bible says that if there's any unforgiveness, that it should be dealt with before praying. Therefore, we release any anger, bad feelings, resentment, or any other wrong attitude before you now. We lay it at your feet and we release and forgive those who have wronged us. Father, in Jesus' name, there is no distance in the Spirit, and we thank you for the listener who desires a prayer for a good day. Thank you for this day, O God. We praise you. This is the day you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for the listener's family and friends. We lift them up to you and call them blessed. If any do not know you, we remove the blindfolds from their eyes in Jesus' name and ask that laborers cross their path with the gospel in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for revealing yourself to them. We praise you. Help the listener to establish priorities today. Oh, Father, we thank you that your grace is sufficient for every situation they may face. Where the listener is weak, you are strong. We decree and declare that the listener is living purposefully today. You have given us all a seven-day week. Help the listener to make the most of the time, buying up each opportunity. Help them to plan their day and stay focused on their tasks. Help them to renew their, their mind, God, by your word. We bind and cast down all thoughts that oppose the truth of God. Help the listener now to loose those bad thoughts, emotions, and, and impulses, and to hold fast to the thoughts that are Christ-centered. In Jesus' name, we clear the listener's mind of every distraction and bad stronghold in the name of Jesus. Right now, fresh and new, help the listener to offer their body as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to you. You consider this a spiritual act of worship. Lord, it is not in the listener's own strength that they live out this day, but it is you all the while effectually at work in them. You are energizing and creating in them power and desire both to will and to work for your good pleasure. Glory to God. Lord, help the listener not to turn back when facing tough situations and fear. You have not given them a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Remind them, Lord, today that they were bought with a price and made your very own. We call you this day and know that you will deliver the listener and they shall honor and glorify you. Together, we rejoice in this prayer because you delivered the listener and drew them to yourself out of the control and dominion of darkness and transferred them into the kingdom of the son of your love. We confess and praise you, O Lord, with our whole heart, and we will glorify your name forevermore. We lift up the gifts and talents you have given the listener. Help them to develop them. Praise your name. Help them to make the make use of the gifts and talents according to the grace given them. The listener will let their light so shine before men that they may see their moral excellence and their praiseworthy, noble, and good deeds and recognize, honor, and praise and glorify you, Father. Thank you that you are showing yourself strong on the listener's behalf. We call upon you, Almighty God. We ask you in this moment to give the listener strength, knowledge, wisdom, and ability beyond human limits. We declare that the listener operates supernaturally today by the power of your indwelling spirit. They will live today with outstanding accuracy and excellence. Thank you, Father, that your love never ends and your mercy never, ever stops. You are loyal to the listener. Praise you that you can do anything if we'll believe. You can do far more uh, than we could ever imagine or dream or even request according to the power that is at work in us. The listener's life, we declare it in Jesus' name, will lovingly express truth in all things. And whatever they do in word or deed, they will do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, completely depending upon his person. We declare that the listener now starts to build their life empowered by Christ. We decree and declare that they organize their efforts, 
They properly schedule their activities, their meetings, and properly budget their time in a way, Father, that pleases you. Mighty God, help the listener to cast all their cares, worries, and concerns on you that they might be well-balanced, temperate, sober-minded, vigilant, and cautious at all times. We declare that their ears are open and receptive to your words of wisdom, that their heart is set on understanding, and they live God-inside-minded. Their life is complete in Christ. Thank you for sending Jesus so that the listener can have an abundant life. Praise you, Father. This is a day that you have made, and we will rejoice in the good changes that are occurring in the listener's life. To obey is better than sacrifice, so the listener will submit to your will today and help them to do that, Father, in their plans, their purposes, and may they all be conducted in a manner that brings honor and ultimately all the glory to you. Help them to be spiritually and mentally alert in this time of their life. Thank you, Father, for protection. We thank you for angels that you've commanded concerning them and their family to guard them in all their ways. Thank you for your faithfulness to the listener day by day and for helping them to become all that you desire them to be. We decree and declare that the company the listener may work for and or the business they own, whatever financial income streams come their way, Father. We declare that they are blessed. We declare profitability over them now in Jesus' name. Give the listener and the company leadership wisdom to run the company with efficiency, effectiveness in Jesus' name. Help the listener to do their very best at work as well as life, whatever they may put their hand to, Father. Help them to give 100% when working at their company, when living life. Help them to be the most valuable worker possible. Show them how to be sensitive to the needs of their co-workers and responsive to the desires of their employer, as well as to all those, Father, they come in contact with every day. We decree and declare in Jesus' name that they perform their duties with a spirit of excellence. They not only do what is required, but beyond that which is required of them, that they may be a blessing to others and an asset to all those they come in contact with. They will do and fulfill all their responsibilities to the best of their ability in Jesus' name. Help them, Father, to refuse to try and impress anyone, but to do their job as effectively as possible as unto you. Help them to be hardworking and trustworthy in all their business dealings, in all their life dealings. Lord, they will endeavor to create and maintain good relationships with the people they meet with their co-workers, their superiors, whoever they may be. We decree and declare that whatever their hand touches, it will be done with complete honesty and just a full-out effort. Father, we know that promotion comes from you. Thank you that according to your word, the faithful will be rewarded and they will abound with blessings. We declare this over the listener now in Jesus' name. Thank you that the listener's attitude, commitment, performance on the job will become obvious, Father, to those for whom they work and that recognition, promotion, benefits, and raises, all good things, Father, will follow the listener. We believe and receive everything we prayed and give you glory in advance for this prayer is answered. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.